everyone. Welcome to the Heart Brand Ranch. So excited to have y'all join us today as we go Facebook Live grilling some wonderful Heart Brand New York strips. And let's be honest, the strip is my favorite cut. I just love the bite, I love the taste, and I love the texture of a really good, highly marbled New York strip. And that's exactly what we have here for y'all today, folks. So you got to see the meat when we started. We had it as our placeholder while everyone joined. So welcome it's a beautiful day here at the ranch we've been trimming some of these lovely trees parker and i did some fishing so uh and today we're gonna this evening we're gonna take it easy put some steaks on the primo and hang out with the family so we're so glad y'all could join us just to see kind of like what we do on a normal saturday night so i've got these steaks out i've let them thaw very slowly i put them in the refrigerator yesterday at noon they're in the refrigerator from yesterday at noon till today at 6 6 p.m and then from 6 p.m till about 7 p.m. I let them outside, just regular room temperature inside. And then I, at seven, I open them up, put them on a pan, put a paper towel under them, and then brought them out here on this cutting board right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna begin to season them, show you exactly how I season them. It's really pretty simple, folks. I just start out with a little bit of olive oil, hit the steak with a little olive oil, rub it around there really nicely. So just enough to kind of make that salt melt in, help it when it uh, hits, hits the grill. And one thing, just if you zoom in real close, notice we don't have any fat right here on the outside. We've got them super trim. When you're coming to have a steak at my house, I want you to have straight edible meat. So if we got a little piece like this, I'll just go ahead and cut it off, right? So it is a 14 ounce steak that does help us make the weight, but I'll just go ahead and cut that off because no one really needs that on their plate. So just hit them with some nice seasoning. I do like seasoning, so I completely cover the whole steak. Really you wanna try some seasoning? <laughs> There you go. <laughs> so the kids are here, they're playing in the pool. Dad's filming. Mom and Granny are both watching us right now. So we're just out here hanging out. So glad y'all could join us tonight. Uh, hit it again, same thing on both sides. A little olive oil on both sides right there. And then what we're using today is just that Heart Brand Chop House. So if you don't have Heart Brand Chop House, you can go to the website and you can get it. Or if you don't have it, just use kosher salt, black pepper, little garlic powder, little onion powder. It's the same seasoning dad's been using for 40 years. It looks like Bailey likes it. So hit it on this side too. These steaks are pretty thick, so they can take a lot of seasoning. And I and I really like seasoning as well. So we got those steaks. They're, they're, uh, they're close to room temperature. They've uh, warmed up pretty nicely. I wouldn't say warm, but they've, uh, you know, they, I've taken the chill out of them. So we're going to go ahead and take them to this Primo. Come check out the temperature right here right quick on this Primo before we open it. I like to let it get hot. I've got it pretty hot here. It's pushing 500 degrees. Now it'll cool down some once we open it and such, but, but right now it's pretty hot. I want to get a pretty good sear on those steaks. So here, watch. Get in close as we open up this Primo. I just love that Primo right there. Nick Bauer and his group over there at Primo do such a good job. Lovely grills. Love to barbecue on them. Love to grill on them. Everything. So here we're gonna go ahead and put them on here. Come in close and get this sizzle, Dad. Listen until we get okay. this sizzle. Super hot, preheated. Put them right there. Listen to that. One more time, I'll stop talking. Listen to that sizzle. Right there. So we're gonna have them on there for roughly eight minutes, but we're gonna be here the whole time. And then we're also gonna put in a new product we have here is this 12 ounce sausage. And a special thanks to Todd Steele over at Country Boys for making this wonderful 12 ounce ring for us. It's a product we really love probably the best sausage you'll ever eat. We have that on our website too. And also while you're here, make sure you comment, like, because if you comment, we're gonna pick some special winners to win a grilling package. So if you have a question, yes, baby, you need some butter? So one thing that you'll know when you're eating steaks here at the ranch, we like to have a little appetizer. We keep it simple. It's just crackers and butter and a little pinch of salt. It doesn't get any better than that. Just a little cracker, butter, and a pinch of salt. How is it, Bailey? Tell them, look, let them see you eat it. Tell them how good it is. It's good. <laughs> Crackers, butter, just like that. Especially when Dad puts on the meat. Such a good appetizer. Those things are doing great. I get bored, so I flip them four times. The professional might tell you to flip them once. I flip them four times just because I like because I get bored and I don't have anything else to do. Jordan, Mark is watching, Angeli, Dustin. Hey, everybody. Thank y'all so much for joining us on your Saturday. Fran so, Watkins said it looks delicious. Oh, great. Hi, Fran. Luis so, wants to know, is medium rare the best way? Yeah, so for me, Luis, medium rare is the best way. I'm going to try and cook these steaks to about 138. So medium rare to medium, maybe just a little bit more exact, Luis. Hey. But uh, don't, don't do it like that. Yeah, put it on. You can do it. Good job, girl. 
So come in close here and look at what we started with today. We started with these boneless strip steaks. This is exactly how they'll come to you. They'll come in a styrofoam cooler with uh, cardboard around it. And they're gonna come individually vacuum packed just like this. They'll either come frozen or cool to the touch. As long as they arrive, you cool to the touch. They're just fine. And again, thaw them out slowly. Put them in the refrigerator and thaw them out a day before and then let them come up a little bit to room temperature. Eat it. So this is how they're gonna come to you. They're gonna come in that styrofoam box. And if you leave them in the freezer, you can leave them in the freezer for up to six months. They're gonna last a really long time in the freezer. So that's exactly how it's gonna come. Oh, thanks, Paula. We love it. It's it's awesome. It's a real hit. So it's made with Akaushi beef and lean pork. So we get that Akaushi <laughs> flavor and that sweetness that comes from the lean pork. So we're really excited about that sausage. And we have our garlic today. So it's available in a lot in Kroger and Food Town throughout Texas and then also on our website. So if you haven't checked it out, try it. It's a product we're super happy with. So if you would, Dad, come back over here. We'll check these steaks out. Fran said Mackie's watching too. Jake Hipton's watching. So we're right here at about 450, 425 degrees. We're going to go ahead and put our first flip on these steaks. Oh, yeah, look at those grill marks. When I flip it, I flip it to a new part as well. So I keep getting some more grill marks, maybe even put it to the outside. We'll go ahead and give this sausage a flip as well. So that's kind of what we like to see about two minutes in. Really nice grill marks, nice char. Daddy. We're gonna keep letting them hit it at close to that uh, 450 degrees. Always be real careful. Sometimes my Primo might not be tied up. Whenever you open it, the lid might close back. And while we're grilling, I'm not barbecuing, I'm grilling. I want high direct heat. I have this Primo ripping. It's at the 450 degrees, pushing 500. Always make sure your air is open. Yes, sir. Hey, buddy. Okay, so be careful. So I've got, I've got my air all the way open. I've got my air open all the way down here. We're not low and slow here today, folks. We're giving it full, straight, direct heat, 450 degrees. I love how we can close the lid on this Primo. Gets the heat all the way to the top and really helps us with a nice smoke and nice char. It's doing a really good job for us today. How is it, Bailey? Good. Good. So let me show y'all one other thing that we've got here. You probably don't need it, but just since we're here at the ranch, I went and collected some mesquite wood today. We already had it chopped up. I put about four of these pieces in there. So just super small little pieces of mesquite chunk. Just makes me feel more authentic. It really might not improve the flavor or the cooking or anything, but it just makes me feel better. So being on the ranch, having this nice local mesquite. I did mostly charcoal. Let me show you how I got it started today. I started with this little charcoal chimenea, filled it up all the way with charcoal. Did that at about 6.30 today. Filled it all the way up, put some paper towels in a box underneath it, started it. I let it go from 6.30 to 7, and at 7, I poured it out into the grill. So what's great about that Primo is my charcoal from last time was still there. So I mixed this charcoal in with the other charcoal, and that's what we're cooking with today. And just a few more of those local mesquite chunks right there that I got. And one other thing you always would be lovely to have is just an electric blower. If you don't have enough wind, if you're in an area where it's not windy, this is your best friend on getting a fire started. So remember, if you got an electric blower nearby, it works really good to help get that fire going. I used it today. We're super fortunate the wind laid down for us, so hopefully you can hear us pretty well. But uh, we needed to get our fire going, because as you can see on the lake there, there's almost no wind. I know you get rid of this. Come back in here, Dad, check out these steaks. Okay. They're smelling really good. Got these steaks here. So the first thing I'm going to come and check me a little internal temperature. Right now we're pushing about 199 on that one. Ooh, it's hot. About 100 on that one. So I'm going to give them one more flip over, see how they're looking. Oh, yeah, nice char. Give them a nice one more flip. Oops. Yeah, sometimes you even cook them on all sides. That's never a bad deal, too. So check in here. Notice how I have my grates lower. Normally, the people that Primo cook them up. I actually lower them, and, and that's a trick I got from JoJo. Since we want direct heat and we want those steaks really humming, JoJo told me, he said, hey, lower that Primo down and we're getting about four more inches close to the fire today. So something that you can do when you're at home, get your Primo grabber. Get your little Primo grabber. <laughs> there it was, Parker. Get your Primo <laughs> grabber. Grab in there and move them. And I put them upside down, folks. So we're getting about two or three more inches close to the fire there. So works out pretty well. And also... I didn't tell you this, when you grab that charcoal chimney at home, make sure you have a glove or a rag because it gets super hot. It does have a little bit of uh, insulation on that handle, but believe me, it is not enough. Have you a glove, have a rag handy because this is hot. We are really, 
really putting the heat to it today, folks. I'm gonna check these steaks one more time. But it was hot, buddy, when I was warming it up. Yeah, yeah, an hour and a half ago it was hot. So check out this Thermapen. It's a chef's best friend. Chef Austin gave me this one, man. I really love this Thermapen. Gives you quick, accurate readings of your uh, product. I use it for everything. So right now we're already at 120. We're 115 on the thick side. So we're getting there, folks. We are really close to having these steaks ready. Look at that char, beautiful char. And again, I said I flip them four times. The book might not tell you to do that, but I do what I like to do and what I've done for so many years, what I've learned from my dad. And that's how I do, I flip them four times. So we're getting super close to having these steaks ready. Again, this is how they come packaged. And don't forget to like in the comments to win that grilling package. Give us a comment, ask us a question, tell us hello, tell us how you like to cook your steaks for a chance to win the grilling package. This is how they're gonna come cook, come packed to you, individually vacuum packed, frozen, or cool to the touch. So this is how the product's gonna arrive to you. I'm gonna move this out of the way. We're gonna uh, get ready for our for our steaks to come off the grill. Yeah, oh, by the, not by the, watch out, baby. Watch out for the knife. Just step back real quick. So, Bailey, get her some more of those butter crackers. We love those butter crackers around here. So, check these steaks. They're getting super close to where we need them to be at. Grill still pushing 400 degrees, so super Daddy. hot. Super hot here. Daddy. Let's see where we're at. We're at uh, about 114 right there. 130, 129 right there, so super close. I'm trying to get these steaks to about 138 is the final temperature. Wow, that end's already getting pretty close. So what I'm gonna do now, check, make sure they have a good char all the way around. See how they look. So what I'm gonna do, something that I started doing with my Primo grill is, I'm gonna go ahead and close them off and I'm gonna turn all the air of them off. So what I think this does is hits them with a little bit more of that smoke flavor. I like to get that smoke flavor when I'm cooking a steak. So if you want to come check it out, Dad, I've got my air off here. I've got my air off down below. So I'm trying to bring this temperature down just a little bit so these so these steaks can just kind of set in there, take them off that direct heat. So we've got a little below 400. It's still rising a little bit, but uh, put them in there for one or two more minutes. Kelvin would like to know where you can buy the sausage. Yeah, Kelvin, uh, it's available at Food Town in Houston. Kroger's across the state of Texas. And then we also have it on our website, heartbrandbeef.com. So check out those places. Food Town does a great job. Yes, Bailey. Oh yeah, let's not lick it anymore, okay? Food Town does a great job with the sausage. Super, uh, yes. Yeah, super appreciative for everything they do. Uh, really good spot to get the sausage, so. Daddy. Yes. That's okay, no problem. And again, make sure you comment on there good comment on there so you get entered to win <laughs> that grilling package so let's check the steaks one more time again grab them with this thermal pin that sausage is ready oh yep they're, they're ready 136 this one was pushing 140 so what i would normally do is let them rest a little bit but since we're here facebook live you don't want to watch them rest i really don't either I want to try them. We're going to jump into them just a little bit quicker than what we normally would, but I'm going to let them rest for about one minute. We'll just go through a few things. So check out our website, heartbrandbeef.com. You can order all this product there. We'd be really happy to have you order it. Drop us a comment for a chance to win a grilling package. Thanks again to, to Nick and all the guys over at Primo. Really love cooking on this Primo grill. Works really well for other things other than beef. I cook pork ribs on it. I barbecue chicken on it. I barbecue our tri-tips on it too. I really love cooking our tri-tips on the Primo. Right, Bailey? Yeah, they're so good. So while we're waiting those steaks, we're just going to jump into this sausage just a little bit, try it out. Let, oh yeah, you like it, Bailey, huh? Let Bailey. Yeah, it's super hot, guys. So let's get some cut. We'll let it cool down, okay? Look at that sausage. So pretty. Todd and the guys over at Country Voice just do such a good job with this sausage. Look at that, so good. And this again is our Polish made with pork and beef, Akaushi beef and, and lean cuts of pork right there. So it's kind of what the sausage looks like. It's a great appetizer. It's still super hot, okay? Let it cool down a little bit. All right, let's uh, see how these steaks are doing here. I, normally, again, we like to let them rest a little bit, but uh, we're just gonna kind of jump into them here today just so we can uh, look and see. Good, so we're just gonna jump in here and let you see kind of what these steaks look like. Oh yeah, see? All the way through there. Nice pink in the middle. Nice muscle definition all the way through. One. My favorite color. 
Hi. That's what we like for them to look like. Cut a few pieces off of here. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Using this nice Dow Strong knife. We've done some uh, Facebook promotions with them. <laughs> Dylan brought this over when we did some filming. Really enjoy slicing steaks with this knife. So fun cutting with it. That's what it Calvin looks like right there. He's headed to Blue Town. Awesome. Good. So let's, let's see how we did. Oh, man. So good. Great seasoning. Great flavor. Great texture. That's why I love the heart ring strip. Any more questions we have from anybody? It's hot. Jake said the sausage looks amazing. Dustin's been commenting. Good. Don't forget. It'll still be up for a while. Comment. Say something to us. So that way you get put in the, the, uh, the drawing to win. We'll draw all the people who make comments. Hey, really thank y'all for joining us today. Beautiful day at the ranch. Hanging out with the family. Cooking heart brand beef. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next time.